Another Thursday is upon us, and this week's Thursday thoughts are pandemic and freedom. It's been over a year now since the pandemic restrictions became part of our daily dialogue in this culture, and really around the world. Um, as the independent-minded and freedom-loving people that we are in the U.S., we feel personal resistance and skepticism of the motives of those in decision-making roles all the time, but especially now. And we have a resultant concern that the reality may be twisted and exploited for political purposes. And that tendency and that temptation was not just in the initial stages of this, it continues even now. Now we've learned more about the prevention and the treatment of the virus. Honest medical experts have acknowledged throughout that they were on a steep learning curve as they were trying to figure the effects of the virus were and how the growth rate would happen, the rapid growth curve. So fortunately, as many and perhaps you have prayed, the impact has been less lethal than originally predicted. It doesn't mean that there hasn't been a tragic number of people who've lost their lives from it. New treatments have been developed for those that are afflicted and vaccines that further mitigate both the spread and the lethality of the virus have been uh, researched and put on the market. Now, how have we responded here at Crossroads? We shut down and went completely virtual for services for several months as we were waiting for the improved ventilation and sanitary conditions of our new lobby. I think it was the right thing to do. We implemented signups to allow for contact tracing and check-in protocols. And we've had pre-recorded video music uh, teams instead of in-person singers, which none of us uh, consider to be the same, but it is the best that we feel it's prudent to do. And until recently, we required masks throughout the service, which now during the sermon, you're free to take the mask off. Now this week, the elders have decided to remove the requirement for the advanced sign-up. We're still going to check people in, and at beginning a week from this Sunday, uh, so as of next week, you will have no reason to have to sign up, but when you arrive, there'll be a roster there for our regular attenders. You can just check your name, and then there'll be a smaller form that you can sign in on if you're a guest. Now, I realize that uh, as we look ahead, we'll be reviewing uh, the virus uh, case statistics in our area and, uh, and when it's appropriate, the elders will authorize uh, more uh, relaxing of the protocols. Now, some of you may feel that these restrictions are completely unnecessary. It is debatable uh, in our culture. You can get experts on both sides. Others may feel that we shouldn't relax them at all. And to both, I would just uh, cite the advice that Paul gave about gray issues in 1 Corinthians and this is found in chapter 10, verses 23 and 24, and verses 31 and 32. Paul says this, I have the right to do anything, you say, but not everything is beneficial. I have the right to do anything, but not any, everything is constructive. No one should seek their own good, but the good of others. So whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do it all for the glory of God. Do not cause anyone to stumble whether Jews, Greeks, or the church of God. God exercises authority in the church through the elders and the leaders that he calls and appoints. And here at Crossroads, that authority on matters like this are the responsibility of the, old, uh, of the elders ultimately and the ministry staff for implementation. Hebrews tell us that believers are meant to follow. And it states this in Hebrews chapter 13, verse 17. Have confidence in your leaders and submit to their authority because they keep watch over you as those who must give an account. Do this so that their work will be a joy, not a burden, for that would be of no benefit to you. Now, I am hastened to add that as your pastor, I find it a blessing and a joy to serve this congregation knowing that you respect the, the role of our leadership team. I also believe that we as a congregation are blessed to have the elders and the leadership team that God has provided for us. 
So as we navigate the pandemic ebbs and flows, <laughs> I just thank you for continuing to practice the protocols in place. Now this weekend, we'll have two inspiring testimonies uh, of faith during their baptism, and we'll continue our series on building a legacy. And I look forward to seeing you. God bless. Have a great week.